Pittsburgh Penguins carry in the NHL's longest active winning streak at eight games. And with the elongated Christmas break to the NHL schedule, that means they haven't lost a game in more than a month as we're underway here in Pittsburgh. Fired around the back of the net, occupied by Jordan Bennington tonight for the St. Louis Blues. As this one played out for Marino and across the ice, Pedersen with a chance, and that one gobbled up by Jordan Bennington. Gave up five, but picked up the win in a wild one on Sunday here against San Jose. Penguins scored a franchise best six goals in the first period. And Latang will come in down the wall. Trying to make a pass to Russ, couldn't connect, and here's a two-on-one. Robert Thomas has Tarasenko. Thomas in delays, and that shot pushed way from the net by the Smith. He was already in deep, and Robert Thomas tries to go back against the grain, and look at the stick of Dumoulin. Dumoulin's stick, great, stick played right here, just enough to get the... Uh... Jake Gensel. 13 goals in his last 13 games. As Russ drops it, Crosby for Gensel, and stopped and back in front, and open net for Russ, he fanned on the shot, and he's sliding Minkel, it kept him from finding the open net. Again, this was one of the better ones, Jordan Bennington, coming up with a big stop, a little help, oh! 25 seconds from now, here's Chris Letang with some open ice, Letang winds and fires, and it's handled by Bennington, and he fights off the rebound from Russ, and a penalty called on the play. Just a freight train coming the Blues way right here. A great pass to Latang, the weak side defenseman jumping in. Good first save, good, better second save right there. And then an interference call. The first one, you can see the pad gets down flush along the ice. Good save. The rebound pops right out in front. That's not where you want it. But... Only three have won a Stanley Cup. Randy Carlisle, Larry Robinson, and Chief. Pretty good company. It is a... Power play for the St. Louis Blues here to start the second period, and Braden Shen scores! Braden Shen walks in, goes right over the glove of the Smith, and opens the scoring 20 seconds into the second. Played under Chief and returns after a five-game absence. He's been banged around with that middle body of his, and he's a tough customer. Great play down low, though. It looked like the Pittsburgh Penguins had possession of the puck, and that has to get out. It doesn't. Tory Krug keeps it in, makes a quick pass to Shen, and Shen loves to go back against the grain like that. A left-hand shot, whips it up high. Puck not clear, though. Latang to the front, oh. stopped by the skates of Falk. He was trying to jam that through, what, nine sets of legs there to Gensel on the far side. Here's a chance for Cairo, and he scores! Jordan Cairo puts it through to Smith. And puts the Blues up to... After I thought Latang had a chance to make a play towards the net, tried to get it across, a great read from Justin Falk, and a one-hand on his stick play by Tarasenko. And from that point on, Tarasenko finds Kairou. As you can see, Latang's in a really not a very good defending position. He backed up and backed up, and that allows Kairou loads of time to enter the zone. Latang well, moves it over. Rodriguez pumps, doesn't shoot. Sets it back up for Latang. Rodriguez to the front. All alone was Rust, and it rolls in! Brian Rust backhand found its way through Bennington, and a power play goal brings Pittsburgh within one. Here tonight, two goals in his first 12. He's only played in 13 games this season, this being his 14th. Because of injury. A couple of different ones. Here's Colton Pareko. He scores! The St. Louis Blues come right back down the ice, and Colton Pareko restores the two-goal lead. What a rocket that was. Braden Shen gains the zone. After Pareko got it out of the zone to begin with, Perunovic follows it up, a bank pass off the boards, and Shen spins, turns, backhander. A little bit of a moving screen. Maybe Jordan Cairo comes across, takes away the eyes and the vision, and maybe it's the defenseman a little bit right there, Marino, but nonetheless, it cleanly beats to Smith. And I think they're going to make a goalie change here. It looks to me like, yeah, Tristan Jarry is going to come into this game. Dumoulin will fire to the far side. And will hang back ahead. Gensel, nice touch pass for Crosby. Great play. Crosby over. Shot score! Yeah! Brian Rust on the setup from Sidney Crosby. Fed Tarasenko perfectly, but then this long pass, beautiful touch pass to Gensel, right to Sidney Crosby, right on the tape to Rust, through a maze of players, and a terrific shot by Rust, the right-hander going high to the glove side.
first of two meetings this season between these two teams who haven't played in more than two calendar years. Kapanen right back in. Left it for Heinen. Danton Heinen floats it down. Simone for Kapanen in the backhand. Bennington got that one too. Remarkable save with the right pad. First one, and then Kapanen takes it on the backhand, and he can elevate it right there. Back on the ice now. That shot hits Simone in the back. Then Ruedel goes wide. It goes right in front for Bjornquist, and Bennington made the stop. Bjornquist again. That one sails high. Ruedel races to keep it in. That's Rodriguez putting it in the skates of Latang, who pinched into the corner. Popped out with Tang, lost it right to Heinen, kicked away, rebound, stuffed back into the pads of Bennington. Here's got to do what they're doing right here, and that is keep driving to the net and driving hard and going to the blue paint. They're working hard in the trenches right there. That's Latang that's down low and makes a good play to the top slot, and Heinen makes the, look, the shot gets taken, the rebounds here. Now, does it get completely covered? Yeah. Hensel was crashing out in front of the goal. Trying to take the eyes away, then Russ backhand behind the back, pass it the outside of the net. And now Gensel floats it through, it's left, they score! Sidney Crosby has tied it for Pittsburgh! They may have to follow suit, let's keep our eye on what happened to Pennington. There's Russ in front. Okay, driving hard through the paint. Keep our eye on Sidney Crosby there. He's between Mikola and the goaltender. Looks like he's outside the paint. Something, whether it's the pants or the body, the knob of the stick maybe. What? Boy, did the, did the blade of his stick get caught maybe in Mikola's skate right there? After reviewing the play, the Pittsburgh player was outside the crease. This is not yeah. a good goal. So Sidney Crosby with a goal and an assist. He has tied it at three. And the Pittsburgh Penguins power play going to work, trying to take the lead for the first time. Rodriguez, he scores! 12 seconds later, the Penguins have the lead. Very entertaining game. Crosby wins the draw going forward. Uses his hand, pushes it ahead. And ever since that confrontation with Mikola, the captain of the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Penguins have come on. This is a great shot. I mean, you see, again, I've talked an awful lot about how aggressive Bennington's been. Luger trying to eat some clock. Pareko dealing with Aston Reese. Centering feed knocked out of the way by Bennington. Given away, and it's Luger makes it up. And goal! here to the Pittsburgh Penguins lineup with his grit right here. The Blues and Pareko was on the ice for about a minute and 40 seconds, just completely out of gas right here. Puck comes out to the front. Pareko tries to sweep it over there to the middle of the ice and right on the tape here to Bluger. You can see he gets the back end, not much on it. Obviously, when you're tired like that, you can't get those thoughts together and calm things down. And that play through the middle results in a terrific pass. One more clear, doesn't make it out. O'Reilly to the net, one more save for Tristan Jory. Two seconds and one. And Pittsburgh Penguins score four 